What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of this ESS LNB telescope. In this review, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this telescope, including one thing that I think that you should know before actually buying it. So I got this telescope for my wife. Um, she basically had always had an interest in astronomy uh, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get her a telescope. I wanted to get one that I thought was uh, pretty affordable and this really uh, kind of met that demand, right? Um, and it really hasn't let us down overall. So it comes with this bag of accessories. This is basically for a phone to hold it. Uh, this is uh, a case for the lens, well, two lenses that come with it. Those are the cases for those. And then this is a filter, and then this is like a cleaning cloth here. And these are the lenses down here that you can hold. So you can see that there's a 25 millimeter, there is a uh, Barlow lens three times, and a nine millimeter as well. It also comes with a nice cover on the main lens and you can see in there, uh, that's the main lens obviously. Um, and then we have uh, the rest of this here. Um, but in general, I've been happy with this. Uh, we've been happy with it. Uh, there's a few different things to know from a, like a user standpoint. I think the biggest thing is um, when you're using this, uh, this is kind of like a, like a spotter scope, if you will. So if you're trying to kind of find something, you essentially use this to get it within frame. And then what you do is you really, you know, you, you add one of the lenses here and you're able to kind of fine tune it and adjust the magnification with these here uh, to the point to where you can actually see it really, really well with the, uh, with the larger telescope. So yeah, I like that there is a compass here. I think that's one really cool thing to it. I like that they have this holder down here um, and you can adjust it quite a bit. I like the spotter scope, it helps because uh, if you're kind of looking for something and not really sure where it is, this is kind of a lifesaver just to kind of show you like, okay, we're on the particular, you know, a star that we want to be. Now let's kind of, you know, fine tune it and really get a good look at it using one of the lenses here. Now, in terms of the thing to know about this, from my perspective and, and how we've used it and everything, I guess my biggest thing is, um, you know, this is really for beginners, right? This isn't going to be the greatest telescope. It's not going to get everything that's possibly out there. But what it will do is if you have somebody who's kind of a beginner that's really interested in this stuff, it really, you know, gives them the ability at an affordable price to be able to kind of start. So I would say if you're looking at getting this, make sure that you have some patience when setting it up. It's not, I mean, it's easy to set up, but the actual, you know, fine tuning and everything, I found that to be a little bit difficult because I wasn't really all that good with it, to be honest. So as long as you have patience and kind of read online, you're able to set this up properly and actually focus in. And we were able to see some, I mean, some pretty good stuff, pretty clear pictures uh, within the lenses and everything. But just know that it takes some time to get it right. So yeah, guys, if you're considering getting this, uh, I would say definitely for beginners and novices, it is a great uh, telescope to begin with.